Once news of President Carter's health was announced, an outpouring of reaction has flooded social media. With that part of the story tonight, we bring in 11 Alive's Liza Lucas. Liza? Good evening, Jeff. Yes, the love, the memories, highlights from the presidency and his personal life absolutely all over social media this evening, and we have just been tracking it all. We want to give you a look at what's come in so far. Everyone from Maria Shriver, Linda Carter, the singer right there, photos you can see of now President Biden with former President Carter at the time. So many reactions, just the love. You can see the legacy that he has had over the many, many years. We also want to point you to Habitat Humanity, the leader of Habitat, sharing a statement this evening, writing that all of us are lifting up President and Mrs. Carter in prayer as he enters hospice care. We pray for his comfort and for their peace and that the Carter family experiences the joy of their relationships with each other and with God at this time. We want to give you a quick look. That was from Charlotte right there where the Carters were working and they have been all over the world with Habitat over the years, volunteering in 14 countries, actually building, renovating, repairing more than 4,000 Habitat homes. Just one of the chapters of his great, great legacy. Governor Brian Kemp also just a Warnock, also Raphael Warnock right there. We want to give you a look at his tweet across life seasons right there. President Jimmy Carter's a man of great faith, has walked with God in his tender time of transitioning. God is surely walking with him. He continues, may he, Rosalind, and the entire Carter family be comforted with that peace and surrounded by our love and our prayers. And that sentiment has just been coming in throughout the evening. In the last few minutes, we also got a statement from Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, who writes this. He says, Marty, the girls and I are praying for former President Carter, former First Lady Rosalind Carter and their family during this time. We ask all Georgians to join us in sending them our thoughts and our prayers. And I gotta say, Jeff, it's very clear that Georgia, the country and the world are really in that sentiment this evening. And we'll continue to keep you updated as more and more of those comments come in. Uh, all right, Liza, thank you. 